Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I hope you all are well. You may know me as Dr. Alder Haskey, and today I'm gonna teach you how to play the song Shocker that I wrote. Um, let's get right into it. Okay, so luckily Shocker is pretty simple. It's basically the same chords the whole time. And it all starts with this. We've got our first finger on the G string first fret and our ring finger on the D string second fret. And there is a finger picking pattern, which same thing repeats throughout. And that sounds like this. So what that is, is just alternating between your thumb and your middle finger and your first finger of your right hand. And that finger picking pattern is just thumb, thumb, middle, first, thumb, middle, first, thumb, middle, first, thumb, first. And then it just ends with first, thumb, first, so. And then do the same thing, but you move your thumb to the E string instead of the A string. And then you put your middle finger on the E string second fret. And instead of doing the first thumb first, you can do a little flourish at the end. The finger picking pattern stays the same, but your pinky just goes on the D string fourth fret and then comes off. And that's the whole flourish, so. And then you're back to the start. All of that fast together sounds like. Yeah. So that's the intro and the verse. And then the hook comes in with literally the same shapes. The one adjustment to those shapes would be when you go to the E, so the second chord in this sequence, instead of leaving your middle finger up, you put it down on the second fret A string. So you make an E chord, and then you move it back up to the second fret E string. And then the big difference is that you do this flourish at the end. So that looks like from this last form that we were doing before with your middle finger on the second fret E string, you swap it down to the second fret D string and you move your pinky over to the fourth fret A string and then you swap back to that E shape, but you don't play the E string. So that's just your middle finger on the second fret A string and your ring finger on the second fret D string. And then you open it back up, taking your middle finger off, just <laughs> flipping you off. And then you've got that, uh, the first chord that we played, which is the four chord in the scale, which is kind of confusing. Sometimes I like using my thumb to mute the E string to make sure that's not playing when I'm playing this chord, so that way it's just very clearly just the A string as the root note. So faster, that sounds like this. And that's it. And then we go back to the finger picking pattern. But the big difference is at the end of the finger picking pattern, when we go into the pre-chorus, and then after the pre-chorus into the hook, there's these little stabs that sound like this. So that's just, I'll sing it, I'll sing it for you, and my voice is completely shot, but. God, how nice the all well constructed lies And we're taken out of context I see right through the walls all we get Oh, and drive it, turn it on your high beams You let it swerve a little before Listen in your grip, so leave me out So that stab is just that first chord with your uh, first finger on the, the first shape that we learned and then the E shape, but not playing the E. So you got like the A and then the B, and then it just goes back into the hook chord progression. And that's literally the whole song. So, and it does that stab at the end of the pre-chorus, at the end of the second chorus, and into the last part of the song. And yeah, that's it. 
I hope that that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or see me at office hours. Um, and yeah, that's everything. Thank you for being part of my life. <laughs>